Hey everyone, what's up? I'm back to do a quick haul. Um, well, I'm not for sure if it's going to be a quick haul, but it's going to be a haul. Over the past month and s month or so, I've been ordering Christmas presents, and of course, I order myself some stuff too. And I thought I would share with them with you. This is going to be an elf haul and a goat milk stuff soap haul. As we all know, with goat milk stuff, you get the three samples and. The three samples that I picked was cider, the cider press, um, the black raspberry, I think is what it is, black cherry. It's black cherry or black raspberry one. And this smells to die for. It is, mmm, that smells so good. And I got another sample too, and I can't remember what happened to it. Anyways. I also went ahead and picked up a, ha a half size bar of their um, cranberry spice, I think is what it's called. It looks like this. Um, on the letter that they sent me though, I can't use this until another week because it's not completely done. So I'm guessing this was a fresh batch and um, you can tell where the color changes, where it's not completely done yet. But this smells like... Christmas to me. I love wintery fall scents and this is just amazing. It smelled up my whole room. Like literally has smelled up my whole room. I just have left it laying out and it smells to die for. Mm. I also went ahead and I picked up um, a full size of the clean cotton. And the clean cotton reminds me of a laundry uh, place, like a laundry mat or whatever. It smells like downy. It smells so good. So, so, so good. And then I also went ahead and picked up this one. This is for my mom. This one is the um, Love Spell. And it's just like Victoria's Secret's Love Spell smell. It smells really good. So that's a stocking stuffer for my mommy. So that was my whole goat milk stuff haul. Um, on to my elf haul. This is when they were having their 55% off store-wide thing. Um, I picked up some more stocking stuffers for my mom, and I got a bunch of stuff for me. I went through it yet either, so everything's still in their package. But the first thing that I got was their fan brush their studio line fan brush. It's like this. Just your normal fan brush. Um, I'm not really sure what fan brushes are good for, but I know that they are good for like sweeping away your fallout and just little stuff. Other than that, I don't think you can have really a use for a fan brush other than for little things like that. But I, I've always wanted one. I think they're cute and I decided to pick it up. The thing that I picked up was their new stipple brush. And I was seeing Abby's video, a recent video, where she was talking about their new stipple brush. And I do not have a stipple brush. And I said, well, what's the best time to go ahead and pick one of those up? So it looks like this. It is very, very, very soft. I can't wait to use this thing. I cannot wait. I've always wanted a brush like this too because I've never had one and ta-da, now I have one. Next up was another one of their blending eye brushes. Um, here's my problem with their blending eye brush. I love their blending eye brush, don't get me wrong, and this is from their dollar line. It feels like it has glue on it right here, like you can tell where it's just sticking out. Um, it looks like it has glue on it, it feels like it has glue on it, hopefully when I wash it, it will take that glue out of it. The only thing I hate about e.l.f. is sometimes you get crap from them and then most of the time it's really great but the other thing is shipping. Shipping takes forever. I ordered this on November the 28th. Today is the 11th of December and it took that long to arrive to me. I just think shipping is crazy with e.l.f. but anyways. I also went ahead and I purchased a bunch of the stuff that I've never tried before but I want to try. This is their Complete Coverage Concealer. 
I don't know if any of you all have used this. Let me know how you've liked it. I have never tried it, but I figured with the hay, they're having this 55% off sale. I'm going to get it. Ooh. They're really, really soft. Anyways, and it comes with these four colors. I know. There you go. That's the colors. And these are great for my skin tone, I think. And they're really soft and they're really easy to blend, I see. So I have a zit right there, and we're going to cover it up and see what it does. Wow. We tell I have a zit anymore. So this so far is awesome. This is in the color light. Next thing I picked up was their e.l.f. Uh, makeup remover cleansing cloths. You get 20 pre-moistened cloths. These are apparently new too from what it says. I have yet to open them, but I will do so now. They smell quite pleasant. They're really big and they are the kind that stretch smell good though I really like the scent oh yeah they kind of feel a little oily they kind of remind me of the MAC makeup wipes actually because I think MAC makeup wipes um, feel a little oily and these do too the next thing I purchased that was also new was their new brush shampoo um, it says an antibacterial brush cleaner for uh, thorough cleaning in between makeup applications. This disinfects brushes to provide a fresh and clean application every time. Washes away all traces of dirt, makeup, and oil and debris from your brush while conditioning the hair to provide a clean and soft application for every use. Looks just like their brush cleaner but uh, a whole lot smaller. Your brush cleaner you get 8 fluid ounces. This is 4.1. So let's see what this smells like. It doesn't really it doesn't really have a smell to it, which is great. So here's this. If you all want reviews on any of these products, let me know. Because I need some video ideas, by the way. Hint, hint. Picked up was I Elf Studio Blush. Gotta Glow. This was also new. This is their Gotta Glow Blush, and it is not the colored blush, but this is the white blush. Yes, it does kind of look a little intimidating at first, but this is a great highlight, I think. Um, it has a little bit of that gold shimmer. It reminds me a whole lot of NARS's um, Duo Blush Hungry Heart. The white side of that blush, which is, I guess, supposed to be your highlighter, gives me a whole lot of that, but without the little tiny bits of glitter. This is just strictly shimmer. There's no glitter to it. Very, very, very pretty. I got two more things. This one is their e.l.f. Professional Nail Buffer. I needed a new nail buffer, and it looks like someone took chunks out of that. Good grief, e.l.f. Come on four step it has the step one which is file step two which is removes the ridges three is buff and four is polish and shine and last but not least the last thing that I picked up was elf's new studio line shimmering palette and it looks like this a weightless and creamy shimmer instantly illuminates the eyes lips and face gives skin a healthy natural glow Mix and match the colors to create your own unique look. Uh, directions, apply a dab of the shimmer to desired location and blend in. It can be worn alone or as a base for your other makeup. Called Sheer Sunrise, too, by the way. The color. What they look like. You have a peach or a pinky rose. A color that looks a whole lot like Sin by... Oh my god, these are so creamy. This is ridiculous. Um, this color reminds me of Sin by Urban Decay. Then you have a like a, a baby pink, and then you have your white. Wow, these soft. It's ridiculous. 
Wow, these are so soft and creamy. Like, I can't even... I never pictured them to be as soft and creamy as this. It's, that's really, really, really awesome. It's the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette. It is my complete haul with goat milk stuff, soaps, and e.l.f. Eyeslipface.com. If you want to see any reviews on any of these products, please post them below. And until next time, I hope you all are having a great week. Kisses and lint was. Toodles.